guys so this is a quickie update video um first of all i'm going to start with the most obvious thing probably which is my hair um how to get rid of the green uh what happened was i bleached my hair and i dyed it green and i loved it like i really really love the way green hair looks on my skin tone and with my eyes and stuff like green is a really good color if you have brown eyes like they're very 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 uh, what the fuck that word is oh my god it's like 3 a.m and i can't think straight but green goes very well complimentary there you go green and green with brown eyes is very complimentary so like green makeup if you got brown eyes shit like that and uh with my skin tone the green hair was really nice, but it didn't stay. So first I bleached it and then I dyed it with, um, with my normal fix and war paint and washed my hair and it came out and I was like, oh fuck. Although first when I bleached it, all this bleached, but then I had a blue stain still in the bottom here. And I thought, well, since blue and green are complementary colors, I don't really care if there's a little bit of blue, I'm not going to fry my hair. Uh, to try to get it to white all around because, you know, the blue is fine. It'll eventually fade out. It'll just be different kind of shades of green. And so I was fine with leaving it. It was like a really light, light blue, kind of like a sky blue. It wasn't anything really vivid or really dark. Well, when I dyed it green and after I washed it and the green came out, it like revitalized my blue. And so all this was almost this color, slightly lighter to where you could see it better. And I was like, what the fuck? The blue wasn't there. The blue was like gone. And um, so I tried Vixen War Paint. And then I went to um, Stargazer. That faded right away. And then I went to uh, Adore. That sucked. I would never get that again. And then as a last ditch attempt to save the green on my hair, I went to Arctic Fox. Because that had been highly recommended to me. It smelled delicious, like, it smells like great bubble gum. I bought the big $35 bottle and I put it on and it smelled so good. Even after washing my hair, I just, it just smelled like grapes, which is one of my favorite smells. The great bubble gum thick smell. Oh, I love it so much. Um, but every time I washed my hair, one shampoo, because usually when I wash my hair, I shampoo it twice and I condition it once. And I knocked it down to washing my hair like once or twice a week and shampooing it only once and then I even put hair dye in the conditioner and not even that worked just a ring around the bathtub green splattered all over the walls and just the green just came right out I could not save it so I was like fuck I'm gonna go back to my Vixen War Paint and hope maybe now it'll stick a little bit better because I really really don't want to let go of the green I love the green everybody has blue and I know you cannot be unique in this day and age but everybody has blue and I just didn't want to go back to blue but while my hair is short I want to stay colored I don't want to go back to black yet not until my hair is longer then I'll I'll do black or I'll do half and half I'm not quite sure maybe leave my bangs colored I don't know yet but I just know that I'm not ready to give up color yet so I um I tried the Vixen War Paint, went through two bottles of it, washed my hair once, all the dye is gone, my hair is all blue at the bottom and like this really faded, murky, swampy green on the top. So I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I went and I got bleach, bleached my hair, all this was like white blonde and this stayed green. Um, stayed a bit more green than it did blue. But again, I was like, it's at the bottom, the blue will probably cover it or it'll make a nice color. It's fine. It's complimentary. Eventually it'll wash out. And um, dyed my hair blue, used an entire bottle of dye, rinsed my hair out. My entire head was green. Like I had just dyed it green. It wasn't blue at all. Like, and this is my Vixen War Paint and it was all fucking green. Like my bangs, everything. I was like, what the fuck? So I washed it another two, three times. Hair dye all came out. Hair's all green. Then it turned into like this murky kind of turquoise, like a, like a sea green mixed with like a swampy green mixed with like a blue green. It was this real unusual, weird color, but it wasn't a pretty color. It was just dark and very ugly. So I washed my hair out again, dyed it like 
two days ago or a day ago yesterday. Well, it's uh, three in the morning now, so it was day before yesterday. I've still got dye on my hand. Not really this hand, but I've got dye on this hand. And um, now it finally looks blue, but I haven't washed it since I dyed it. So um, I'm really worried that when I rinse it, I'm going to lose the blue again. I've got blue like all over my skin. But, um, and I leave in the color overnight. I don't just wash it out. I put it in and it forms like this helmet and it's really hard. So I do leave it in plenty long enough. And um, here's hoping because if the blue comes out and it doesn't last and I'm having to re-dye my hair every single time I wash it, I'm going to have to go back to black because that's just way too expensive. Even though the Vixen War Paint's pretty cheap here. It's one of the things that is actually affordable. It's $12 a bottle. Um, having to do that every time you wash your hair can get to be a bit much. And I just don't really want to deal with that. So here's hoping. Secondly, my bridge is gone. So I have these holes there. What had happened was, so my bridge is my second oldest piercing aside from my tongue. Um, I got it done in 2000 and one I believe got my tongue done when I was 19 so like 1996 um, it was finally rejecting I smack it a lot like my rings are really really loose on me so whenever I go to wipe my face or wipe my face or rub my eyes a lot of times my rings will catch on my piercings and yank them out like I'm quite close to losing this dermal I'm probably gonna be cutting that out because I got caught and it ripped and now I can feel it and it really hurts so that I'm gonna be fucking with that and then I'm probably gonna eventually take a razor and just slice that one out it's the only remaining dermal that I've got so that sucks too but um I took it out and I re-pierced it and it was crooked and then it developed like this ball of pus on top of it that was pushing it so it was completely wonky so I took that out and I pierced it again and it was too low. It was like down here. And I was like, fuck. So I pierced it again. And I pierced it here and it was too high. And I was like, God damn, well, maybe I can keep two because I've always wanted two. And so I put a bigger ball down here, bigger bar, and then a smaller one up here. But then it turns out that this one up here is a bit crooked. When you have them like this, it's really noticeable when it's even a little bit off. So I took them out. So now I'm going to let it heal completely, heal completely flat, and then I'm going to go right in the middle again where it used to be, and then I'm going to do it there and hope that I get it right this time because I've had that piercing for so long. I feel really naked, really, really naked without it. I fucking hate it. I had also lost this one. I took that one out and then I redid it. So that one's fine. I did that the day that I did this. I took this out, even though the holes are like still there. I took that out a couple months ago because I kind of like having eyebrows and it's way easier to draw eyebrows without the piercing just kind of in the way. Um, I, it is uh, 29th now of May and June 1st, I have an appointment to get my armpit done. So I'm going to be getting that. And at the same time, I'm getting a tattoo here. No, it's not a moon. And no, it is not because of Emily. So get off that horse shit before you even get started. Um, it's something different. Um, I did see it online and I did talk to my uh, tattooist about doing something like it. So we are working together to do something similar. But it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and it's going to come down like from like right here and it's going to go down here. And then when I go to get my throat redone... Um, cause you know, this patch of empty skin here makes my face look really fat. So I'm going to have it, you know, ending like a full neck piece like that. Um, I'm going to have her bring it up to like right here just to kind of go along with what's going to be on this side so that it's just like a full wrap around neck piece, but I don't know when that's going to be. Um, I was going to get my armpit done in December, like for, for Christmas, but December here is in the summer and not being able to shave or wear deodorant is not going to be pleasant in the summer. So I decided to switch it around. And so I'm probably going to be getting my nun done in December, maybe because uh, for Christmas stuff, I like new pieces. So I might get something new. Maybe, maybe not, but I need to get this done. But uh, 
I'm just going to get this done before, like, while well, it's winter here, so I'm not sweating all over it. Um, I am really worried because my appointment's in just a couple of days, and I'm about to start my period. Uh, so you can see, like, my boobs are, like, jutting out on the sides like they do. Like, they're all, like, I actually get boobies when, um, when I'm about to start bleeding. It's the only good thing about bleeding is, like, I've got, I've got breasts again. Um... And so I'm just like, I'm going to, I'm really bloated. I've been drinking shit tons of water and it's just, my body's like <laughs> right now, but I'm just days away and I just hope I'm not bedridden and I can go and keep this appointment. Cause usually when I bleed, I'm bedridden for like almost a week. Can't move just a hot water bottle and lots and lots of pain because, um, I can't take medication and I'm just in fucking agony. So fingers crossed it doesn't happen on the day of my fucking appointment. Um, aside from that, I don't really know what else to say. I know I had a lot of stuff to say, but now I don't remember. Um, oh, people keep asking, people keep and keep and keep asking, what has happened with a little black kitten? She is not here. All the cats have been rehomed. Why have all the cats been rehomed? Well, because we're moving to America. We decided we were going to go once we found a sponsor for Logan. Once we found a sponsor, we're going to have to sell off a lot of stuff. You know, we were working on the garage. It was stuff we were going through. I've got, I've thrown away already a shit ton of stuff. I'm going to be getting rid of most everything to keep costs down and to try to take what altogether, I think, including Mr. Marshmallow and Marmalade and the kittens, that was like seven cats. Not only is that really unfair to them, especially Mr. Marshmallow, who's wonky, um, but the babies as well. Um, it's just, it's not, it's not happening, basically, to try to take that many cats overseas, plus into somebody else's home. It's like, here, here's us and all our shit and our seven cats. You can't do that to somebody. And so we had to make the hard choice. We let them go while they were still young so that they could acquainted to their new homes is absolutely no reason to keep them until we're about to leave because that would just make parting so much harder mr marshmallow and the babies all went and marmalade is the only one that is still here because she's my baby now lately she's logan's baby and um as far as i know we're taking her unless something really drastic changes then we have to rehome her too but we just don't have it in us at the moment to do that Yes, we're still moving to the States as far as I know. Uh, we have not started saving yet just because we're working on our, our IDs because I am having trouble getting my certificate of birth abroad because I was born in Germany. So I do not have a normal birth certificate and it's quite hard to find the right avenues to take and who to go to. So um, I've been struggling with that. Um... And I've gotten my licenses and everything, made sure everything's updated and Logan's working on his. And then I've got my passport to see if I need to update, which will be really expensive because of my visas. And then it will be the application process, which is free. And then we find out, I think, then if he will be approved or not. And then from there, it's going to be well over a thousand dollars and take about a year or two but i mean all in good time we're we're gonna get around to it what he and i have decided not just me he and i have decided is that this year we're going to work on like getting rid of all of our because we've got higher purchases around the city and uh, we've got tattoos booked so we're gonna get what tattoos we can get things that we only trust her with because you know when we go to the states we're gonna have to find a new tattooist someone that we trust someone who does good enough work and um there's certain parts of my body like my armpit or my leg or you know like my stomach that i didn't want just some stranger doing so we've made sure to book in for these these certain body parts um for her and touch-ups and stuff like that can be done by anybody so we'll find somebody later on and um, getting our higher purchases and things because I think Logan's got, because, you know, he's real into his Pokemon shit. So he's got a couple of hundred dollars worth of Pokemon boxes on layaway. And so we're just trying to kind of 
finish up what we're doing here before we start saving, but it'll happen. Everything's still in plan. Our life, not your life. And uh, I guess that's about it. I don't really know what else to say. Um, I've got a couple of videos coming up again. Like I said, I've made, I made them out of order, but I, I've made two other videos today. I will update, I'll upload this first cause it's an update. And then there's a really negative one. You might want to skip, but my bullies and my stalkers will want to watch. That's about an hour long, like an hour and a half long almost. So I might cut it in two cause YouTube doesn't like really long videos. And, um, that's just answering some, some of the bullying that I've been told about and seen about just stuff that just had to be said. And then there's one about catfishing and, um, three times I've been catfished or lied to that have greatly affected me. And, um, and then I'll have one at some point cause we're doing laundry and it's so fucking cold in this house that we've got to lock up the spare rooms and put the clothes horses in there and turn on the heaters. And because of that, there's no room to walk in the house at the moment. Um, so when I clear a space, I will, and it's warm enough, I will do an outfit video because I've got a few cool little outfits that I haven't shown and some are from the clothing warehouse and some are from online. Um, so I will share those and I think that's about it. I don't really know what else to do videos about again and I'll see you guys around. Bye.